Hello, my name is Michael Driscoll, and in today's video, I am going to show you how to create a cross-platform image viewer using WX Python. So assuming that you have WX Python installed using pip or something similar, you would just import WX, and then we just need to figure out how to uh, create a nice little frame. So the first step is to create a class. We'll call it mainframe. And we'll just add a little frame to it. And then we'll initialize it. And typically, you all use the super method for creating your frames like you would in any class. Um, uh, the top level frame doesn't have a parent, so you can pass it none. And we'll just give it a title which will go along the title of the, the window. We'll call it an image viewer. And normally you need some kind of widget, which is a control to go on your frame. So we'll, we'll create a panel. We'll call this one image panel and pass it a reference to the frame. And we'll set its image size to 240 by 240 for default. And lastly, we want to show the frame. So let's go ahead and write some code to make this work nicely. If name equals main, you need to create an application object so that you can start up your main loop or your event loop. We don't want to redirect uh, standard out right now, so we'll set that to false. Create a frame, main frame, and start our main loop. But we forgot to create the, the image panel. So let's get that done. And this follows a lot. The code follows the code below quite well. It's also uh, in it for our constructor. And we use super again. This time around, we can actually give it something to, to use. Let's see, we'll give it the parent, which we forgot to pass in here. The parent will be whatever widget the panel is to go on, so this will be the frame. And I think that's enough to actually run the code. See if this looks right. Oh yes, I forgot to pass in the image size. So let's go ahead and Add that real quick. Rerun. You need to be consistent with the way you name things, which I'm not doing right very well right now. Okay, so now we have a little image viewer that doesn't do anything. Let's get it to do something useful. So we'll set our max size for our photos to 240. We can set this as something else, but I find that if you don't set a good max size, the image can get too big and be make your window get really, really large. So you need to need to find the right size for your your screen resolution. So to add an image in WX Python, you can use the image widget, and it takes an image size. So we'll just use this image size. It's a tuple, so you could just pass in 240 by 240 or whatever your image size should be initially. And then we need to create a static bitmap, which will be the control itself. And we'll call it image control. And we'll create a static bitmap. That will take the panel as its top, as its parent. And then the bitmap will equal wx.bitmap. And that will take our image object up here. And next, we need to create a browse, a browse button so we can go find an image to open up. See, this will also take self as its main argument. And we'll give it a label so it has some text on it. Call it browse. And the button needs to do something, so we can bind it to an event. 
Typically, you just bind it to event button. And we'll create a function called onBrowse here shortly. Let's go ahead and do that quick. Um, event handlers take an event object. We're just going to pass for now and see what our program looks like right now. And let's run this. So we haven't used any sizers, so the widgets just stack on top of each other. The first widget that gets added is our bitmap widget. So it's here in the background. That's what this black is here. And then it stacks the next widget on, so the browse button gets stacked on top of it. As you can see, it doesn't do anything right now, but we're going to fix that here in a minute. So let's go ahead and add some sizers. Um, a sizer is a way to arrange your widgets nicely on the screen, and it will also allow you to resize it, and the buttons and widgets will resize accordingly, depending on what settings you give it. So let's see, we want a box sizer, and we want a vertical one, and then we want a horizontal sizer as well, so we'll add that. And then we will add some some widgets to it. So let's add the image viewer to our main sizer. And we don't need it to do a whole lot. So here I'm just telling it to add the sizer uh, don't give it a border, and don't tell it. Don't allow it to uh, stretch. Zero means don't stretch. WX all is um, a border all the way around it, but we're setting the border to zero because we don't care right now. But usually you set it to something. Let's go ahead and bump it up to five, and then we can add our button, each sizer. And and we'll just add our button to it. This one follows along pretty well, pretty much the same way. And then we need to tell the panel to add the sizer. So you call set sizer, and we'll just add the the main sizer. And we also need to put the H sizer into the main sizer. So let's not forget to do that. This basically just nests the sizers inside of each other. So here's the H sizer added to the other one. We'll give it a 5 one as well. So now, hopefully when I run this, it will look a lot nicer. Yep, there we go. And everything is where we want it to be, except that it didn't resize the way I wanted it to. So we can fix that by doing main sizer dot fit to the parent and then call in layout at the end. So now when we run it, everything uh, gets the way I want it to. The fit will fit the widget's width and height as best as possible inside of the sizer. So before we had it kind of stretched out like this, and when you call fit, it, re it refits the frame to the sizer, basically. The browse button still doesn't do anything, though. So let's go ahead and fix that real quick. We're going to go with wildcard. Now the wildcard tells you what kind of files you can accept in your when you open it. So we'll go open up JPEG files. Um, the WX Python package uses um, Pelo, the which is a fork of the Python imaging library, underneath the covers to load its images. So you'll need to install that in addition to WX Python if you haven't already. So anyway, this string here determines what kind of files we can open. So we're telling it to open up only .jpg files. So then to actually open the file, we need to do with open, or not with, open file dialog. File dialog doesn't get a parent, so we set it to none. And we give it a title, choose a file, which is pretty normal. I'm going to set the wildcard to wildcard. And we need to set the style to something to make it work the way we want it to. So let's set it to id open. 
as dialog. All right. So for now, we will just print out the path, dialog.getPath. Let's see if this works the way we want it to. Now when we hit Browse, still not working quite the way I'd like it to. Ah, I know what I did wrong. So we got the dialog object, but you need to call um, if dialog.showmodal. When you show a dialog modally, it just means that it will show up on top of the other window and you can't interact with the window and underneath it, which is what we want. So let's just do this. Rerun that. Now we should be able to browse. And we can see pictures now, but it's not going to do anything because we haven't told it how to load it yet. So let's go ahead and write some loading code. And then we'll hook it all up. So let's load up our image. And the file path will equal Hmm. Now let's go ahead and set something. So self.file path equals our dialog.getPath. And we should probably initialize that up here. We'll initialize it to none. All right, so now we can grab that. We don't need to set it here because we already have a handle on it. Um, if Self dot, oh, we do need to check this. If style path is none, we just want it to return. We don't want to try to load a file, load something that's not set. Otherwise, we can take that image and create a new wx dot image with that file path. And we'll go ahead and set the type to bitmap any. Now we can grab its width to get width and its height. Now we normally, this is for scaling purposes, but we want to make sure that the image doesn't load up too big and stretch out our window so that the window handlers go out of outside of our screen. Then it makes it really hard to close it. So we're just going to scale it in case it gets too big like that. So we'll take that with the max size new h equals, oops, I did that wrong, w new h, all right. Typo val, max size, height divided by width, else we swap them. We'll just copy these down here. Okay. New W, so this one's going to be width divided by height. Okay. I think that looks right. And then we can use uh, image.scale. And we'll just scale it to the width and the height, and then we should be good to go for scaling it to the right size. So then we can take our image control and set the bitmap on it to use the bitmap image that has been scaled. And finally, you have to call refresh to get it to refresh the screen so that it actually will show the new image. All right, so we get the path, and then if we hit OK, we need to call load image. All right, let's see if this works. Save, browse, open, and ta-da! We now have an image viewer that can load up images inside of WX Python. I hope you enjoyed this video, and you'll come back another time and check out some of my other work. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.